Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. <clears throat> um, you know me, Chris. Let, let the other ladies introduce themselves and Doug's on the phone. Go ahead, Donna. Um, uh, well, I'm Donna Wiley and Chris and I have met from okay. when I was on the finance committee. Great. But here, <laughs> your, here, here your historic preservation. Uh, right, right, historical right. Commission. Yes, yes, I am. I am here because of the historical commission. Not, yes, exactly. Kat. Yep, I'm Kate or Catherine Wilkowitz, and I'm here as a member right now. <laughs> whatever, call me whatever. Um, of the um, housing committee. Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Chris. Doug Caldwell yeah. is on the phone. Uh, yeah, Doug Coldwell. I'm here as a member of the Ag Commission. And Judy Marklin. Judy, I'm here as a member of the Planning Board. And the one member is not here is Andrew. Is Andrew? No, he is. He is. He's I here. just admitted him. Perfect yeah. time, Andrew. <laughs> yeah. Hey. hey, Andrew, up in the top right is Chris Williams, a new member. Introduce you yourself, and Andrew. Andrew. Let them know where you're from, or what you're, who you're representing. I just asked you for the Conservation Commission. I live on uh, Long Plain Roads. So. All right. Nice to meet you. And Chris will be representing the Recreation Department. Right. Yep. Great. We're very excited about Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Up until about maybe four or five years ago, is when we could actually use CPA money for recreation projects. Is that right about about that time frame, Judy? I think so. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Before that, we couldn't use CPA money for any kind of recreation project. Oh, understood. Okay. Yeah. So now that that avenue is opened up, it's very important to have someone from the recreation committee on this board to, to advise us when when necessary. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Couple of housekeeping things. Um, minutes from July nineteenth. Um, I like to make a motion to approve as written. Second. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those aye. opposed, say nay. Aye. All right. Let's get to the real reason we're here. Chris, I understand that you may have a quote from Fitzgerald Fence. Yeah, so I've been in touch with Fitzgerald. Um, I was waiting on the, um, I believe it was the the wage um, that we'd be giving them or something like that. What exactly was that? Yeah, the prevailing wage. Yes, yes. Um, so therefore, um, and I've touched base with Wayne about it the past couple of days, um, but we do not have a quote from Fitzgerald. Um, he has one from L and L, and he says that that's the same. He's also waiting on one from Snows. I guess their guy is going to be back by the end of the week or early next week or something. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to report on that. Um, Wayne did also mention he was concerned about it potentially not being able to take place until like there was a leveling that was done with the driveway that keeps working on. Okay. Okay. Great. I had a long conversation with Wayne today. Okay, uh, great. Great. <clears throat> we do not have any competing quotes for defense. Um as far as what we talked about last meeting was maybe we should think about or the recreation commission should think about hiring somebody to do the whole job, not just provide the trees and then have volunteer labor, plant the trees and the shrubs. So I mentioned that to Wayne after our last meeting and he thought, no, oh, that's probably a good idea. Um, they'd be warranted for a year. Um, they'd be, everything would be included, the mulching, the fertilization, the weed control for that full year. Then we started talking about what needs to be done before we can even plant the trees. Um, as you all know, 
the fence is there. All right, let's talk about the fence first. The old fence is still there on the edge of the parking lot, but close to the embankment going down to the river. The old fence needs to be removed. And I believe the recreation, and correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, the recreation commission was going to ask the highway department to pull the old fence out, which would be pretty simple to do. Just go down and then pile it up. And what they do with it, they'll dispose of it somehow, a firefighting uh, routine or some, something like that. So that's the fence. But after the fence is gone, they need to do a lot of leveling. And again, that's going to be on the highway department up to a point where a foot and a half of fill needs to be removed on one side of the parking lot and the other side, not so much, but that's going to take considerable time to get everything leveled out. Then they want to go through and use that brush hog that the town uses that reaches out to at least knock down all the weeds that are encroaching on the fence in the parking lot now. Uh, Wayne's opinion was there's no sense in planting shrubs and trees if we're going to let the bittersweet just come and take it over. So there needs to be some sort of buffer between the fence and the weeds and trees. That's where you're going to plant the trees, uh, we, the weeds and the, uh, the trees that are already there. And then <laughs> we, we talked about whether or not we could get all this done before frost comes. And as of this afternoon, Wayne's of the opinion that no, they cannot get it done. So he's suggesting that he withdraw this application and submit a new application in December for the annual town meeting. Makes sense. <laughs> Chew on it for a minute. <laughs> if that were the case, then plant the earliest, well, if the annual town meeting is in April, which hasn't happened for several years, and I think I have the impression the select board has settled on May as a better time because of some aspects of the finance committee's work. It's, it's the school budgets. Mm -hmm. and, but the detail is unimportant. Okay. So mm -hmm. it couldn't, planting couldn't happen until the end of until May, June. <laughs> Can, can the leveling and that sort of thing be done first? I mean, could that be done this fall? It could be. Wayne's not sure it will be. Uh, and and has, has Wayne- Keith has, has got Wayne, quite a few projects right. on his plate yeah. right now. Yeah, he does. Right. This, this will not be a priority. Well, it does make sense to withdraw. I'm just yeah. afraid about planting and hot weather, but- Well, right. and, and we ought to have a proposal that includes the, com the complete plan of work and the costs Absolutely. associated with the complete plan of work. Absolutely. Because then, then we can fund the complete plan of yeah. work mm -hmm. instead of, you know, post-its. And it may very um, well be we go, or the, the Recreation Commission recommends that Snows do the whole job, the planting and purchasing yeah. the trees from them. It may turn out that in the next three or four months that, uh, they decide they can buy their own trees and plant their own trees. But right now, again, we don't have competing quotes on the fixture on the fence. And we only have that one quote from Snow as far as planting the trees or providing and planting the trees. So I think giving them a three more months to put together a good application yeah. would probably make sense. Agree. Sounds like if they're putting in a buffer and maybe the plan needs to be modified slightly too. It may be, it may be. I totally understand. There's not much room between a fence and the, the woods that go down to the river. Yeah, I think that was part of the, our, on our part on the conservation because they had to give up some of that just so they let it go back or something. I think it was because it's near the riverfront area or something and with reg regulations, they had to give up some yeah. of that fence. Right. So that needs to be worked out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Andrew, um, did the plan, um, I know that the Conservation Commission approved the plan as part mm -hmm. of a parks grant submission. Yep. Um, was all of the work Alan's now describing, the, the 
a bittersweet removal, obviously a really good idea. Yeah. And leveling, that was that all, did you approve a plan that had all of that in no, it? No, that, that might have to come back before us and just say, yeah, we want to do it. That's what I was asking. It would, it would just be like, a, just to come before us, we say, okay, and you could do it. But yeah, these kids would just, or whoever does it, would just have to let us know that there were, because that is considered riverfront area, I guess. So. Okay. And today was the first time I heard about the leveling need. I mean, maybe, maybe if Wayne and Chris and Keith have a conversation, maybe some of the work that the highway department, uh, if, if the highway department has time to do some of the work, like the leveling, and if CONCOM has approved this slight revision in the plan, yep. um, you know, it, it might be possible to plant really quickly after the May. Um, that's right all town i mean I'm, I'm assuming you know that we recommend it and the town funds it might be because right. yeah. otherwise you probably have to wait till the end of september to plant you're not going to plant in the summer yeah because yeah, i think with the leveling yeah. i think they wanted to have the rainwater or any water that comes off go towards the ball fields instead of towards the um brook i think that's what the leveling is i think you're talking about alan i think that's a lot where all those trees were in the middle there where all those pine trees were cut down they're going to try and change the the slope dynamics of that area okay well from the beginning it seems like we've been kind of putting a cart before the horse here mm. uh, i know when they first put the application in june is more like a placeholder and july came and we had questions and august came we still got questions so well, and it does sound like a lot of those first steps that you described today, Alan, can happen without us being involved at all, right? So getting some of that other stuff lined up sounds like a good idea. If again, it's kind of be dependent. If there are no more weather crises or things to pull Keith even farther off the track that he probably wants to be on, right? Right, right. to see. Yeah. But if you can get some of those steps done, I think at you're least right. You can get in the get queue. It. That's right. Yeah. That's but, right. But, and if Keith isn't confident that he'll have time to do it, I mean, I'm sure he didn't ex expect to spend the entire summer trying to save culverts, you know, which right. is pretty, um, maybe it would make sense for the proposal to assume we're going to hire someone to do all the work. And then, you know, we can always give less if the town can get rather, right. it's right. easier to, it's easier right. to give you, less. You can include you, an excavator or whoever. Right. To, right. Yeah. 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 I, think part of I was just going to say for Chris's benefit, because of the way the state is involved in this program, it's actually uh, somewhat complicated to add to a grant. It mm -hmm. would be better to approve a grant and then not use it all if that's yeah. the, just, is, am I right? And does everybody agree on that? Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there's two, I think there's two separate plans. There's like where all the pine trees were, and then there's more like stabilization plannings on the bank side, if I remember the plans right. Yeah, so there's two sort right. of separate. It's all making sense to you, Chris? Yep. yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You yep. can bring we'll it back to Rick. You can bring this back to the Rec Commission and let them know. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. All right. That's it for Hurley Park until December. The technical assistant position. Judy has made a couple attempts to meet up with Jessica. I don't know if it was successful today or not. Yeah, it was. Oh, good. I should explain that we had an appointment for Monday and I went down and Jessica wasn't in that day. Turns out she had a neck injury. Um, so that was a little off putting. Um, for Chris's benefit, this is somebody to help pick up and do some of the administrative chores that I've been doing, kind of number crunching, keeping track of projects and how much the accountant keeps track of how much money we have, but we need to know, we need to do projections for revenue for the future and do some extra reserving and we also keep a project history online and track of that and there's a state filing so it's not a lot of work but um 
I'd be happy to be rid of it. And the CPC has has annually an administrative expense budget that we can pay for somebody out of this. And that one administrative expense pocket of money doesn't require us to go to town meeting to disperse it. So that's kind of a handy thing. Alan checked with, oh, we, we had originally offered the position to um, Amy Schrader, who finally just, who was greatly interested and I think would have liked to do it, but just decided she didn't have time. She's taken up a lot of administrative work for, for the tree farm that her husband and father-in-law run. And so Brian then recommended uh, Jessica, uh, the new Jessica Murphy, the new uh, administrative assistant. And she expressed interest. I went to see her today. She's very bright, very personable. Um, her background, she has worked in customer service and as an administrative assistant and in a couple of administrative assistant jobs, one of which was for, in, for the accounting department, wherever it was. So she is familiar with dealing with spreadsheets and money kinds of matters, which was helpful to know. Um, she says she likes to learn new things um, and she loves working with Dara, who, is, who handles our record keeping or accounting. Um, I talked to Brian afterwards and asked what he thought. He said she's a quick learner. Um, so far she's been quite reliable and she's just been named the uh, assist, assistant town clerk. So obviously they have some confidence in her. Um, Great. Uh, she would like to do it. I told her and I suggested to Alan that we probably should offer it on a, uh, offer a, a probationary period um, for both parties sakes. Um, and I had suggested six months, but that's certainly something that the committee should discuss. And I think Alan had worked out with, with Amy Schrader that probably the pay, pay would be what she's essentially what she's making as an administrative assistant, which is something like $22 an hour, I know. Mm -hmm. 22 and change, I don't know the exact right. number. Um, um, so, Judy, oh, sorry. No, well, that's all I have. I, I guess I would say it makes sense to go ahead, but it, please. I, I think it sounds great. Um, would she attend our meetings? I told her it wasn't necessary all the time, but I thought she ought to attend occasionally, um, especially. She could do the Zoom link. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I, so I'm not running around in the afternoon. <laughs> well, she could. Um, I don't but, actually mind, but if it's her account. <laughs> well, she probably, I don't know what her hours are, but she lives a long way away. She might be good. They're, they're, um, her hours, I just looked because of this small confusion today, are eight to four Monday through Wednesday. Yeah. Um, but, and I and she does live near Pittsfield, but she must be yeah. adding more hours to be assistant town clerk. Yeah. I mean, she can't well, just layer them on say, top of it. Yeah. Well, that's something we could talk to her about. Um, I with it, we started saying not attending the meetings because I knew Amy Schrader would not want that. And you know, for information for I I told her I thought it would be helpful to come to to one or two just to get to know people and what goes on. But definitely when we do the funds, talk about the funds available, which is a sheet she'd be putting together so that she could explain it and the assumptions she made. Um, if you feel she ought to sit in on more, can certainly talk to her about it, but it's not something I- don't I think imagine. she needs to. Personally. We, we have to pay her. I think it's gonna depend, right, right, right. And I think it'll depend how well she grasps right. what her role is going to be and how to track right. the cost. Most of, the, most of the stuff that she needs to know, she's going to learn from Judy, not from attending a meeting. 
although I agree that she needs to attend meetings, especially when we talk about the projects and the, all the funds and the balances. And But as far as putting together review and applications, I'm not sure she needs to, unless she wants to, she's perfectly yeah. welcome. Right, no, I, I was yeah. really thinking more about those one or two meetings that we talk about this and, and talk about what's gonna happen and be available for the coming year. Okay. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. How many, we didn't actually talk about this um, last last month, Judy. Um, how many hours a month or a year do you think we're talking about? It's not much. I mean, I know it's not consistent. It's it's gonna be different. It's, I, I told her that it's not a whole lot um, and it, it varies depending on the number of projects you have, because you know, for some of these forms, you're filling in project by project by project, and and updating the project history. There's a lot of back and forth to various places, kind of figuring out what's going on. Um, and now that Dara's there, you know the, and and there's more. There's more um, information available online from the Community Preservation Coalition. They, they have a historical financial data and they have all the year-end reserve stuff up on their database town by town now. So you can just go there without even having to bother Dara for the CP2 report. Um, so I don't know, it might be, uh, other than meeting something like 10 or 15 hours a, a year? I, 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 was, I was thinking of it in terms of planning for the expenditures, but also I think if we're if we're hiring her on a for a part-time job, we ought to have some sense of what the outside is. I mean. Yeah. Well, I don't um, know. In the in the beginning, it's going to be more because she has to yeah. learn all the terminology and where things are um and over time it will get to be less i i've been a little bit lax and not not working it out you know i do it as they come so i don't think about it all that much mm -hmm. and i've sort of started to do things like save the warrant from town meetings so we don't have to look it up online all the time you know things like that so sure. there are ways to, to cut it down and but if you start from scratch on everything it will take longer it's a very feeble mm -hmm. answer i apologize oh. that's a great answer <laughs> any other questions Last way of saying i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I thought in the minutes I had said, um, Alan, you were going to also talk to Sylvie. Did you guys yeah. decide that wasn't an appropriate well, match? When I first or... talked to Brian, he's yeah suggested Sylvie for some reason. And right. then I went into the office and talked to Brian. Yeah. Actually, Brian emailed me and suggested Sylvie. Yeah. And I went in the office and we talked to, well, Sylvie's got her own little thing going on. Why wouldn't the administration assistant do this i mean that's yeah. what she's supposed to be doing is helping out the different committees right so, and brian absolutely thought that jessica would probably be a better choice to start with okay i i went in to introduce myself yesterday or the day before to sylvie and uh she had a conversation too that she was interested in trying to go to some of the meetings learn who the people were and and kind of see what was happening in all the committees as well. Um, and that she wanted to also be able to provide some support for some of them. So I wonder like, if there's a little role clarification. It's like all these new positions, new staff in mm -hmm. and They're yeah. all looking for direction, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, need, they all need, seem to need a little. I kind of felt like I needed a little in just deciding which person should I be asking for the link? You know, do I email the clerk mm -hmm. or the, you know, because Furcott was doing it, it for the housing it, committee. Yeah, it's very stratified year. now. It really, yeah. Must well, ask the right. administrative assistant for the link, but 
but you, and then you must drop the link into the agenda that you type up and send yeah. it to the clerk. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. And I was given like a bit of a reprimand for not being right. so immediately clear on this multi-layered process. And I was You're like, supposed to know that by osmosis. <laughs> right. Yeah. The other, anyway. the other um, factor with Sylvie is that we had been thinking of this as, as a sort of lower paid job and Sylvie's right. Sylvie's higher. higher. Yeah, that so, makes a lot of sense. Um, of course. And it's Sylvie, really not Sylvie. a job that, that requires her a level of background. But. Yeah, I mean, she's yeah. a full time professional with 15 right. or 20 years of experience. It's not right. It's, right. I mean, she's supposed to be supporting the planning board and the and, conservation and commission and the housing committee and, and, and housing hopefully and, yeah and, that's right and writing housing. grant <laughs> applications you know so right um yeah you wouldn't want yeah. her distracted by especially if she's a person that's more of a, a writer and less of a numbers person it might bog her brain down in a way we wouldn't want <laughs> right like right. that and it, with any luck if if jessica enjoys working with dara the, the two of them can run with getting a system set up I mean, in theory this could all be things that the accountant is managing on our behalf but i know because it's a consultant more right it's a really clearly defined consultant job the town accountant in our case i don't i don't know if it's appropriate to really even suggest that to her but this well, would be nice like the the dara and jessica does sound like a nice match and and some of the things that Judy's been doing outside the meetings aren't about accounting, keeping up and keeping accurate the list That's of right, all those the funded projects. Right. Are we are we thinking that um, this new person would would update the plan each year when we after we've gone through and made changes, or because you've been doing oh, that, absolutely. huge? I had. I've, I we'll forgot. That I mean, you, you had that nice list, but it, of, of the tasks. Nice list it was, doesn't include it was that really other. clear, but somebody's going to have to go in and do that. <laughs> well, well you, I could keep doing that as long as I'm on the committee. But um, yeah, usually we don't make too many changes, and it's probably right. just as easy for Judy if she's willing to do it. I think there you get into editorial nuances that would be a little tough for somebody at Jessica's level. Yeah. She may okay. work herself into that job. So, so we're agreeing just to take it away from individuals that that's a role for a member of the committee to do the updating of the for, for the time being anyway for yeah. the time yeah. being yeah. yeah okay okay any other questions or comments Judy would you like to offer Jessica the job. Well, I think you should, Alan, and I think maybe talk to talk to Brian about this probation business and Oh yeah, you know. yeah, right. I forgot about the probation. I think it should be a year because it doesn't okay. take about a year. Well, to... yeah, probably once, because Michael. I was trying to think uh, six months doesn't really get you through the whole cycle very well, but right. Um, but I would check with Brian on that, and then I think that needs to have some language that that probably needs to be formalized in a way that I don't really understand. Okay. Okay. And as far as you will get together with her or Yeah, because the first the first the CP3 has to be in by September 15th, so Okay. Um, so if if we can get this finalized. No, I don't I don't think that the select board has to approve it. I think it's just us out of the administrative right. expense. I think I agree with that. So I'll go see Brian tomorrow. Jessica won't be in. Make sure everything's copacetic and he can write up the probation yeah. period and any type of wording he needs to do. And then we'll offer it to Jessica next week. And I'll Catherine, let know, I'll let her know that you'll be in touch with her soon. Okay. Okay. Great. Catherine, uh, Brian said that he had reviewed the CP2 form that um, Dara did and it was fine, so. Thank you for sharing. That's great. It's It was good that's, to hear that's the, that they were just taking time together on it. 
um, CP2 is what gets filed to the state to show where all the finances are at the end of the fiscal year. And the CP3 is the one that goes to the state to tell them all the projects that were approved in the last fiscal year and, and update the old ones. And if it doesn't get in by the 15th, we don't get our match on time. So um, it's important to get that in. Yeah. I expect you to know the 100%, you think, Judy, or? I think Gosh, so. There was, there was an email about it again, although I think we may end up getting our 100%. The rest I of the figured state once it's it, everything it, changes with the number of towns that are participating. But the last time it got really low, I figured if it, the match had to go down to 19% for the first round before we drop below 100%. Wow. But, okay. But there was a, the, it, somehow the extra 20 million dropped out of the governor's supplemental budget. Um, yeah. And, and hey, Stuart, hey. we should, we should, someone should tell <laughs> Chris Williams how yeah, to sign on to the CP, uh, CPC. <laughs> um, there, there's a, right? there's an information source that is very useful. Um, we'll we'll uh, add him to our, to our list yeah, for emails. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we need your e email address, Chris, because you know, you're not. I, I, Chris, get, Chris gave that to me um, just before we started, so I'll okay. send it to you, or, or could you, Chris, you, one of us will send it to you, so you don't just have to read the, it out loud again. <laughs> the way the match works from the state is that everybody with the CPA approved gets um, whatever the highest average percentage is that will fund every fund um, will match every what everybody's revenue was. And it's lately, what, last year it was like 46% or something. I don't remember. Um, and then for the people who have a 3% tax rate, as Waitley does, they do two more rounds of doling out money because after this, this first, which is sort of the least common denominator average, after that, there's obviously money left because they didn't use up the whole pocket of money. And so they do two more rounds of the same process with just the 3% part. And in that, in those second rounds, the smaller towns come out very, very well. And last year with that extra 20 million and the higher and the more real estate activity, um, we actually reached 100% on the second round. Which is which is amazing. So, so it's, yeah, I has still it, has it been a hundred percent for for us all but one year that was about yeah, 87, that, 89, something like that. Yeah, yeah. sounds about right. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah I think that really was something good. like ninety percent. It was yeah, very close. Yeah. But right, right. You uh, do the well, average normally, over time. It's like ninety nine point nine. Normally through taxation, through the 3% that the town levies, we get about $90,000. And then the state matches that 90. So you can figure on the CPA getting close to $180,000 per year. And that number goes up. They estimated 190 this year or so. Right. With yeah. luck. You know how much money we usually have, Chris. But one, yeah. one of the challenges right now is this the main source is the, um, I've forgotten what it's called. In other states, it's called a transfer tax, the fee that people pay when they buy and sell property. And of course, property sales have fallen off a lot because of the interest rates going up. So um, it was great during the pandemic because people had nothing to do with their money but buy property. <laughs> so there was, there was a big source of money. Um, Okay, yeah, I'm sure of that. Last thing I have on our agenda is sample applications. Did everybody get a chance to see what Judy had written up about yes. the links? Yep. Looks really good. You have a chance I, to look at that, Doug? Uh, actually, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, was that 
Um, so, did it did it come with this agenda? Because no, it came late this morning or early afternoon. Yeah, it was oh, okay. I okay. I actually wasn't clear, Judy. Were you were you suggesting sending that general text instead of posting? No, something? I was I was suggesting. Or was that, that was supplemental? And then, and then a link to the plan. I see. Each of these paragraphs would be a link to the plan and indicate what was good about the plan. Doug had, when Doug suggested the sample plans, he said we could have sidebars or something pointing out what was good about them. Mm -hmm. I, I was planned, trying to think I plans, you mean applications. I was just going to ask that yeah, since yeah. I was <laughs> absent at the last meeting. <laughs> no. yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, applications. No, it's okay. I, I'm easily. Lost been, with things when yeah I, I miss something. I survived taking the cat to the vet, but it was a a holly trip. Um, okay, it just seemed easier perhaps to write out in front what was good about them or why we picked them, and then have the have the link so they could then reference it. But the so, other isn't certainly an option, and I don't. I, I'm not, part of the reason of doing this was it saved me from needing to go back and look at plant, at applications, so. Um, I looked at some applications. I haven't kept every single application we've reviewed while we've been in the committee. And of course, until recently, we weren't getting them online. So, you know, it's, but I thought that, I, I could not find the ice rink proposal, but my memory was that it was complete and we were able to have a discussion and we had maybe one or two questions and then it was, you know, I, I, do other, I don't know if other people have that same um, memory of that one. The, the two that I found complete that I thought were pretty good um, and complete were the one from the Historical Society for the, for the curtain renovation. Yes. The supporting material is good, right. and it yeah. was, and and I yeah. think the cemetery commissioner's um, proposal two years ago for the, you know, removing the invasives, getting rid of the uh, chain link fence, and then adding the benches, is pretty complete, and also an interesting one because Chris will remember from this. It, in, it included both historic preservation and open space slash recreation components. So they had to go to two committees and, and get approval. Um, I, I was kind of inclined to think sort of manageable projects like that rather than something like, you know, the $740,000 proposal for the town hall renovation would be, uh, I mean, there's that's, nothing's unique, but that's so different from most of what we look at. Yeah. And I didn't have any APR proposals, I'm embarrassed to say. So I had no it's chance to look few, to It's been see. a few years since we've had any, you know, it's been. Right. Yeah. Right. I think I have, I will, I'll look through and I, Margaret did all, but the one that the um, farm from Sunderland did, and they're all very good. I mean, they're. Yeah. I, I was thinking in my recollection that you could almost have picked any of the APRs yeah. to use as a sample for open space because they were all pretty mm -hmm. concise and yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, if you think about it, what you need for an APR and a conservation restriction are very much the same kinds of things. You need a description of why the why the parcel is important to save or why it's good, why it's worth it. You need a map. You need to know who's going to administer it. You need the budget. You need to know where the appraisal came from. With an APR, you automatically know that it's the Mass Department of Revenue, but but they do the appraisal. And mm -hmm. um, so it's it's essentially the same stuff. Right, but I, yeah. I I did not include the Waitley Center Woods in the ones I would recommend because although we ended up funding it, it's a great project in a great place. 
remember most of what Kestrel gave us first was a copy of their proposal to the state for their yeah. other funding. And we had, so, I mean, there's so many things we needed to have answered. It was too long. On the it just, it, it was sort of too, too, too many pages and too little information. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the Cronquant proposal was a very good one. Yeah, that one was really it good. Is, it, it well, is. They, they, they certainly read the guidelines and got it all together, which was super. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. That, that one did have the guidelines, which we, well, for the private. That's a wrinkle I hadn't thought about. Maybe you create one where it's a private entity and another for a public entity. But then we shouldn't have the town hall curtain because that all that also went to a private entity, but long before we went through the yeah. process of of strengthening. I mean, it yeah. may have addressed all the questions. In well, room. the cemetery, well, you could put, you know, have to look whether, yeah, I don't think it addressed the, oh, well, it probably does address all the, all the guideline questions, but we can think about it. We could have the cemetery for the public one and then the other two for private. What would you folks like to do? You want to mull on this for a little bit? I'm imagining we're not going to be meeting again until October. I see no reason to meet in September unless you guys want to. October, we're going to be looking at the plan again and we can start talking about this a little bit more. Um, meantime, well, Chris, I if you go to the waitley.org website and go to CPC, You'll find a whole bunch of material, past projects, um, the application, what the money can be used for. There's a, a graph or a, not so much a graph, but a, a diagram of how the money can be spent. Um, so you just get yourself a little bit familiar with it. I know we're throwing a bunch of crap at you right now, but. It gets worse. <laughs> yeah, it, it, <laughs> it does. It does. terminology. That'd be a quiz later. Yeah. The community preservation website is really great, though, too, for kind of getting up a, a primer on the history of the, the tax itself and what it is and or surcharge, you know, whatever language you want to use, what it is and, and how it's impacted the state. I thought I really liked learning about it through their website. So that's another good place to go. Communitypreservation.org. A fun committee, Chris. We get the dish out money ain't too many committees that could get to get to do what we do that's true i'll, I'll send out the ice rink i think i've got the ice rink because i post these things on the web usually so okay now the cpc plan that's on the website too right mm -hmm. yep. okay yeah so what would the date of the october meeting be just for the minutes and the 11th Oh, you don't have it in front of you. You always do. Right in the corner of the dumpster. <laughs> okay. So that'll start getting into my sometimes it's tough to come to meeting season with driving children, but um, I'll do what I can knowing a couple months in advance. My husband has no control over his schedule really, but I don't think my kid's gonna have a car by then. So uh, it'll just depend on the, his work schedule and, you know, all the things. We've done 5.30 in the past with that. So oh, what I think is- for Donna, I'm sorry. And I'm it, sorry. right. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. He's getting out Thank at you. 5.30. And so typically is from what I understand, he's a counselor at DES now. And so I'm picking him up at 5.30 and driving him home. I can, if I, if he doesn't have an alternate ride on the day of the meeting, I can like come to the beginning or you're right, if we start at 5.30, then I can just be 10 minutes late. Um, but it it's really, it. I think it's fine. I think let's just try and keep it and I'm just gonna try. I am just FYI restarting the housing committee after my extended COVID absence and trying to get that moving and that meeting, I am going to try to get out of this time frame so they don't have to juggle so many times every month. But hopefully, this I can just find him another ride when there's a meeting. 
We'll see. How about you, Chris? In the springtime when you're coaching ball, I mean, five o'clock must be tough. Uh, yeah, five o'clock will be um, will be tough during the baseball season. Um, at the same time, you know, I can make an adjustment um, with our practice or something, or have an assistant coach wrap it up at the end, and you know, be here right about five. Um, the only problem would be if we had a game. Games will go till six thirty, you know, and that's where that's where I'd be out. Right. In, in that regard. And hopefully, hopefully we have good luck with that. And um, you have a lot of Wednesday games. It's all over the place. Yeah. It is okay. um, something I can do, though, is I can um, reach out to my AD and let him know, um, especially since what do we do? Second Wednesday of each month, the second Wednesday of each month. Yeah. Okay, so I mean that's you know I got to make that work April and May basically, you know those are the only two months. So if I give him those dates ahead of time, I don't, okay. I mean I don't see why I couldn't be available. So I'll I'll make May a note. probably isn't an issue if there's right. too many. In April, April, we pretty much have everything decided too. Yeah, okay. those are. Yeah, that's true. Okay, and yeah, before before April, I'm. Part the third Monday in March. So that March meeting, I'll be good and I'll be good. Definitely moving up until then. And then, yeah, April, May, I can get in touch with my AD and yeah. we'll see what we can do about that. All right, let's keep it at five o'clock then. Cool. cool. Yeah. Okay. Anything else, folks? Nope. All my right. nephew didn't win the World Series. But he oh. came close. They did. They oh. went to Florida. They made it. They won the New England. So I went the last game. I was, yeah, they came close. They made it to the, what do they call it? The consolation game, the game to decide three, four, and they, they lost. Um, so they came in fourth, but they got to go to Florida for a week, bunch of nine-year-old kids running around happy as clams, like playing in a national tournament. It's really pretty cool. Yeah, I wish is. I went. I went back and forth. I looked at the forecast for Florida. I, I found $250 tickets for one of my kids to go with me. And then I saw the temperature, like 90 something thunderstorms every day, oppressive humidity. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> obviously I'd go if it was my kid. You'd have to stay here for that. You'd have to go anywhere. I was going to say, so. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it was really, it sounded like it was, even some of the kids were having trouble. It was so hot in Florida, but anyway. What's the team based out of? Newtown. My um, my sister lives in Newtown, Connecticut, and they okay. won Connecticut, and then they won the Cal Ripken for New England regionals, and then oh, they wow. went to Ocola this year for, yeah, the That's World cool. Series tournament. Very cool. Super cool. Yeah. There was an app, say, and I got uh, to watch it live anyway. <laughs> So it was U12 Frontier didn't uh, quite get made that far. But. No, they didn't. Right. No, but they've the, there's been some pretty good baseball around here too, I think. But yeah, my I kids think. aren't baseball kids, so I don't really pay attention. But anyway, sorry. Thanks for listening. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. Bragging rights are important. All right. Well, good night, everybody. Okay, good night. Yeah. See, we'll you see you in two months. Nice meeting everyone.